What's going on everybody? Prepper Man here. Here showing you our new $400 medical bag. Now, as I always tell you, prices do fluctuate. They go up and down, but I always try to find you the best quality at the lowest price. So here we are. We have an individual who was willing to spend $500 on a medical bag. I think I ended up finding all his needs for around $400. I'm going to be doing exact figuring up here in a second, but I think it's going to be around $400. <clears throat> so, here we go. Let's go over what is in this medical bag. We're going to start from left to right. So, here we go. Here we go. We have some elastic bandages. There are two pack, also two additional ones. We have some stretch bandages right here also individually wrapped you have four inches by 4.1 yards we have a thermometer with a thermometer i recommend you use the 50 percent alcohol behind you there is a 91 percent alcohol that you would want to use for surgical tools or um you know disinfecting the area before you may have to cut on somebody we have a cold press we have bandages fabric ones i think they're a lot better than the other there are some uh, different size gauze pads as you can see bleed stop lou ferrigno the hulk recommends that so if the hulk recommends it it has to be good Blutter butterfly closures um, or stitches some people call them a wide variety of adhesives and tapes that you can use um, also we have our cotton swabs we have uh just a three in one little easy pack right there some more larger gauze in the back if you're really constipated this right here take care of you baby um most time it's the opposite when you're in the field though under high stress situations you probably gonna have the runny butt and not the clogged up but if you get clogged up this bag's whole purpose was to be a general use bag so it's not just for doing surgery it's not not that i recommend ever having to do that but in the world you never know what you might have to do this is an all-purpose bag so you have your gloves here here's a little pack uh, eight or ten of these of these um, sterile so you can sew somebody up basically I'm pulling up a blank for proper terminology you also got some sunblock this is directions on how to use your tourniquet. We'll get to that in a minute. Waterproof paper, marker, pen, courtesy of La Quinta. I don't even know when I stayed at La Quinta. This was kind of a, a pain to find the what would be the best for a anti-diarrhea type medicine. But I got 96 capsules right here. You get the runny butt, you get dysentery. This is going to help you get over it. I also have ibuprofen, we have antihistamine, we have nasal spray, we have aspirin. Um, the, the, some people are allergic to aspirin, so there's other options, pretty much what the redundancy there is for. Um, you also have uh, antibiotic ointment, you have stuff for itching, you have allergy relief, you have minor cold and flu symptoms. I would recommend if you start getting those symptoms, find something else or add to this bag if you're prone to that. Um, that's just pretty much gonna get you through a day or two without feeling like death um got toenail clippers we got little tweezers we have a wide variety of heat patches here um hemorrhoid cream for when your ass is sore use hemorrhoid cream don't be sitting on them cold stones and you'll probably be okay uh let's see we have some more tums hey look you say you got nasal strips in there man look if somebody's a snore last thing you wants to hear out all night <sighs> so it also could be um not safe for you in the field. Anything not safe for your body should be in your medical bag. Also, we have corn removers and callus removers for your feet, hand sanitizer, we have foot powder, we have body powder. Like I said, if you want gold bond, you'd spend a five, six bucks more, you can have it. Um, got some of these blankets here, keep your body heat in. Now this is some better pads. If you really get something, a lot of bleeding there, use that route. Some cough drops. Mole skin, never know when you can get them blisters on your feet. Pain relief patches. Now we're gonna get on over in here. I'm gonna try to keep this video short. You gotta have water, you might need to hydrate, you might need to take some of the pills here. Uh, it's easy to do it with water. 
CPR mask kit. You can put all that together. I try to keep everything in the packet that I can. That's not just taking up a scene amount of room. Um, hand warmer, self-explanatory. Uh, clean your area off with that. Here's a mini CPR face shield. Um, it just kind of sticks to your face one time use. And here's a, like a cheap tourniquet. Um, inside this nifty orange thing you're looking at here is air splints, meaning comes a little pump, you can pump it up and it will, I, I'm not gonna say as far as it will set anything, but it will help keep um, something that needs to be in a splint or a cast in place better than nothing. Um, I would still recommend just using the regular splints and wraps, but that's me. Um, the person wanted these, so I ordered them. A little, a little knife. And when I come right here, we got the multi-tool. Redundancy, you might need to cut something with a knife. Here's our tourniquet kit. Hooks onto the bag with some trauma shears. There was another set of trauma shears over there you've seen. Here's an, our nice bag. Black, Highland Tactical. Uh, I really like Highland stuff, um, and I'm able to find them at a decent price right now, so I'm rocking with them. As always, you can be prepared for any medical situation so you don't get sick, so you don't die or bleed to death. But if the case, if that ever happens, and even before that happens, you need to worry about your soul. So I'd like to invite anybody who's interested. You're always welcome to come check my church out. Um, and here is a little book at on how to get to know Jesus if you don't already know him because being prepared for this world's one thing but if you're not prepared for the next then you're doing it all wrong there's the other pair of shears I was telling you about a toothbrush I got a chem light in here might need some low light visibility there's some burn cream here are two different survival books this one's going to help him more with what he actually has here in front of him there's not really any pictures you're going to have to read this ahead of time for it to be useful because in an emergency um it, it can be taken away crucial time this is brush craft these materials you have in front of you may get depleted so with that this is going to go over anything from um, plants to how to make splints how to make bandages make the most of nature uh, also have some floss there got some stuff for your eyes if you really get constipated a drop of that will make you shit your guts out inner ear infections you say why did we have Earplugs. Well, inner ear infections are a real burden. Um, if you ever have one, they suck. This is uh, for your tooth, temporary filling. Stuff happens. And there's a little bag, some little mask. Somebody gets sick, put that on them. Here's what I thought was neat. Now, this is a surgical kit. Here's your sterile blades there. Um, as you can see, it's all kinds of little goodies to play with. Comes in a nice little case. Now, that right there, in a nutshell, is what's coming in this $400 option. Now, I'm throwing in some free things like Prepper Man always tries to do because you know what? You guys are good to me. I want to just return the favor, say thank you. I have a little inventory left over. I want to give that back out to y'all. So thank you so much for supporting Prepper Man Bags. Um, let's get into what I'm throwing in here for free. Of course, y'all seen the Vaseline dip cotton balls and there's some matches. So a little free little fire kit I'm throwing in for him. Uh, if he does have a firearm he needs clean, this will lube and clean. A couple more hand warmers. Some coffee. I've got four things of soap here. Two things of candy. This is not because this candy is exceptionally good. It's because if you have a diabetic with you and their sugar starts getting low, you may need to give them some of these goodies I have out here in front of you. I don't really have kids, so I don't have like just pure sugar snacks laying around. But... Um, I would say this would suffice um, if you're in a tight spot and you just need to get some sugar in their system. I'm throwing this glow stick in. As you can see, the end got ripped off. I closed it back up with um, electrical tape. It should work just as well, but uh, I'm just going to throw that in for free. Uh, it's a damaged package, so uh, there you go. That's for you. Let's, let's get into what I recommend for this bag. I have three recommendations that are sticking off the top of my head for this bag. One would be uh, get some decorative icing so you can squirt that in a diabetic's gums just in case they were to pass out and be past the point of getting them to actually chew something and swallow it. You can put that in their gums and it would just give them like a sugar kickstart back to their system. I would recommend getting some of this stuff. Now it says $12 there. I've had this for years. This is actually in my pack. These are some things I'm taking out of my pack just to show you. These are like $25, $30 online now. But they do everything, 
I mean, they just cover everything from, uh, let's go over some of the, some of the stuff this will take care of. Uh, it, it will for superficial burns, uh, you got blisters, you got wounds, sunburns, chapped, chafed, irritated skin. This stuff is awesome. I'm telling you, just wash your skin, clean the area good. I love this stuff, man. You can use it on animals, on people, and everything. It's This is a one-stop shop, nice little case. This, for me, in my bag, eliminates a lot of this stuff here because, um, you know, it just does it all. Then, 550 cord. I would recommend this guy that has this, that I'm that's ordered this bag, has several setups already. He's made himself, but he just wanted a medical bag. He didn't know a lot about it. So, I'm trying to give him an all-purpose medical bag here. So that'd be some of my recommendations, man. The um, decorative frosting, the little bitty tubes, you know. Um, and then those two things I showed you. Besides that, I think this right here bag is going to treat you well. <laughs> it's going to be a very full bag. You have your wet wipes there. Um, don't think I mentioned them earlier. But yes. And if anybody's interested in getting another bag done, let me know. I have some extra bags in inventory. That being said, everybody, I'm going to pack all this stuff up and get it to this guy. This is around $400, and uh, this is what you could get with Prepper Man bags, custom bags, made for you by me. And guys, stay vigilant, stay prepared, and always, as you know, if you do this, that's what's up.